Hey folks, Nick Donatelli and welcome back to the Houdini Firmograph series. Today we're going to go over a simple way to create some rocket smoke. It's something that you could render out directly as a volume once we cover the simulation part of it, but we're also going to go through how to do this blocky version for a more stylized look that you could apply to any volume. Alright, let's just hop into it. We'll start by building out the actual rocket. So drop a tube and set it to polygons and check on end caps. Right click the height and copy parameter and paste relative reference into the Y center so that it stays at the origin. I'll set the height to five and the rows to five as well. And that's just gonna help us define the shape in a second. Next, drop a bend and change the capture direction to one in the Y and zero at the rest. And then paste relative reference the height into the capture length. Now, if you check on taper here and enable ramp, you can actually use this ramp. I'm just gonna change it to B spline and add a bit of a curved shape to our rocket. Next, let's set up an emission area. So I'm gonna drop a poly extrude, selecting the bottom polygon as the group. And if you hit W to view the wireframe, I'm gonna just bring it up a little bit and inset it. And come down and check on this front group so that we can easily select this new face. Now, Alt drag this down. I'm gonna delete that group and I'm gonna choose our front group that we just created. And I'm gonna change that inset to zero and then just bring up the face a bit to set the emission area up inside the rocket a little bit. Great, now I'm just gonna subdivide it to smooth things out and we have our rocket. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of animation to it. So I'll drop a transform and in the rotate X, I'm going to type sine parentheses dollar f times 30 to make it shake. Now we want that to ramp up, so I'm going to multiply it by fit dollar f and then 1001 comma 1100 and 0 and 3 so that over time it shakes from 0 to 3 just a little bit more amping up as we go. And now copy this expression into the z. I'm going to change the sine to cosine and the 30 to 25 so that it's not rotating in a perfect circle. And I'm just going to raise it up one so that it's not sitting right on the ground. And then last I'll do a second transform and animate it from 0 to 10. And then open up the animation curves and I'm going to draw out this first one so that we have a long slow ease and it just gradually lifts and then blasts off towards the end. And we've got a modeled and animated rocket taking off. So I'm gonna drop a null named rocket in all caps and onto the smoke zone. First, I'm gonna blast that extrude group and checking on delete non-selected so we get that face. And then I'm gonna drop another extrude and Extend that a bit, checking on output back so that way this is a closed piece of geometry. Next, make a dop net, and this is where our simulation is going to live. Now, you could go through and set everything up from scratch, but sometimes we can actually benefit from the shelf tools that Houdini ships with. So, I'm going to make sure the viewer is on the extrude and head over to the pyro effects tab and i'm going to click billowy smoke and select our geo and hit enter and you can see that it brings us into the dop net that we created and if we didn't make this before clicking it it would have automatically made one but it would have put it at the top level at the object level which is personally just not how i like to work back on the object level it also makes this pyro import node which again, I don't want to use, so I'm going to kill that. I'm going to head into the sim, and I'm going to hit play. 
and it might not work right so i'm going to go into this resize node which changes the bounds of the sim and just uncheck clamp to max now if you hit play you can see that we have some smoke but it's not doing exactly what we want so first we want to give it some downward velocity so that way it looks like it's shooting out the back of the rocket so after the pyro source we're going to make an attribute create and call it v with a size of three and i'm just going to set it to minus two in the y and now in this rasterize volume you can see that it already has a v set up and head over into the sim and in the volume source you can see that it reads in the v and changes it to vel which is the velocity attribute used for volumes in houdini now, if we didn't use the shelf tool, you would have had to manually go in and uh, change it to this. Before we hit play in the pyro, I'm just going to make the division size 0.1. This is just going to make things play a little faster while I go through the tutorial. And lower values uh, will create a higher resolution sim, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So if you're actually rendering volumes, you'll probably want to make it bit smaller until you have like a nice amount of detail um, but since we're gonna end up doing that pixelation effect something like 0.1 is gonna work great so it's looking good and one thing we need is a floor so I'm just gonna do a ground plane and merge that in hitting shift R to make sure it's merged from the left side and you can see that we have a rocket simulation doing somewhat what we want. So you could continuously play around with all the values to adjust the look, but the only ones that I actually want to change are the dissipation in the solver, bringing it to 0.05 just to make the smoke linger a bit longer. And then back in the pyro source, I'm going to make the density scale 10 just to make things a little thicker. Now, to get the sim outside of the dopnet, we're going to use a dop.io node. You can drag and drop the dopnet here, and then I'm going to copy and paste that below, adding the word pyro at the end, which is grabbing the source node inside of that dopnet. And if you just change the preset to smoke, you can see that we have our sim now outside of the dopnet. And I'm just going to merge that with the rocket for visibility. So you could stop right here, render this out, it's going to render as a volume, and you'll have something that looks like smoke, but I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that pixelated effect that you saw in the beginning as just an alternative uh, for some stylized motion graphics e smoke. So I'm going to start with the points for volume with a point separation of 0.06 and make a box node and then copy that 0.06 parameter into the uniform scale and then make a copy to points checking on pack and you can see the look that we're going for now I want to have the boxes scale as the density gets thinner so to do this I'm going to make a point bob after the volume and do a point cloud find changing it to first input and hooking up the P what this will do is search a given radius here and find the amount of points nearby so I'm going to promote that radius and also promote the max points but I'm going to double click that max points as we'll need that in just a second so next do an array length so this output actually returns all the points in that given radius and you can actually access values on them so in it it'll say 0 0.0 and in there it'll store its position and any other attributes that are on it but all I actually want to get is the amount of points it found within that radius so this array length will simplify it to just give that then you're going to do inter integer to float and divide that by our max now hook that up to cd to view and i'm also going to go ahead and bind out export that to p scale 
In our case, I found that 0.12 in the radius and 18 give a good result, uh, where we're going to see the thinner parts actually start to produce smaller boxes. Now you could also run a noise in the color, if that's something you wanted, just to give an extra layer of depth on top of the uh, existing smoke, but that's just a stylistic choice. And there you have it, there's our rocket smoke setup. Um, as always, would love to hear from you guys if there's any effects you'd like to see tutorials for in the future um, down in the comments. The project files for this are up on the site. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time.